The Double IPA, which I guess you can kind of say is an Americanized beer. Of course, it all started back in the 1780s with the British Pale Ale, maybe even before that, when they would send the beers uh, to India to survive the long rides. It would be heavily hopped, and uh, the ABV would be a little higher. The India Pale Ale would be in conjunction with the British India Colonies, and was pretty much first brought on in about 1835. Now, this ancestor was America's Genesis Spark that spawned a line of brewing creativity, finding new expression even today. And it's a pretty dark relatively young style of beer stretching back to about the late 80s and early 90s of course with the craft beer movement there came an ipa a great ipa experiment to redefine the style and it really really took off in this country now the first double ipa has been said to have been brewed by Vinny salorzo uh, back in June of 1994 for the now-closed Blind Pig Brewery of Temecula, California. Now, after that, Rogue Brewing uh, released I2PA in 1996, and then Stone Brewing would follow two years later with their second anniversary IPA in 1998. Now, the category was first introduced at the Great American Beer Festival in 2003, and, of course, most breweries will have their own double IPA, most craft breweries, I should say, now. So the style really, really took off. So in the double IPA, we're looking at a fairly pale beer. It goes from straw gold to a little bit more of a bronzy orange. Aroma-wise, well, American and New World hops uh, are known for the floral, citrus, stone fruit, pine, resin, tropical fruit, berry, and melon smells. And many of these beers can be very, very effervescent in the aroma. Medium to medium high carbonation for the mouth feel and a varied hop flavor uh, as far as the taste goes, with likely qualities being that of American and New World hops. Of course, floral, stone stone fruit, spiciness, uh, pine, resin, tropical fruit, and many more of those types of flavors. Comes into us on average at 7.5% to 10% ABV. And of course, we serve it in an IPA glass, snifter, or tulip glass, one of the heavy hitter glasses. For food pairings, a double IPA is a little bit stronger, so we're thinking spicy dishes like Indian food, Mexican and Cajun cooking. Uh, roasted and grilled meats like fatty fish, uh, such as salmon. They dance pretty well with it. Cheeses, uh, maybe uh, moldy kind of cheese like Stilton, other blue cheeses, and Lindberger. And dessert, maybe something rich and thick like carrot cake with tons of icing, cheesecake, or creme brulee. The top 10 most popular double IPAs are number one. 90-Minute IPA from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. Two, Pliny the Elder from Russian River Brewing Company. Three, Hop Slam Ale from Bell's Brewery. Four, Enjoy Buy IPA from Stone Brewing Company. Five, Lagunitas Sucks from Lagunitas Brewing Company. Six, 120-Minute IPA from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. Seven, Hop Stupid from Lagunitas Brewing Company. Eight, Double Jack from Firestone Walker Brewing Company. Nine, Dirt Wolf from Victory Brewing Company. And number 10, Burton Batten, Dogfish Head Craft Brewer.